Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to write a texture splatting shader and the shader is going to blend between two textures using a depth map and it looks like this so depending on how much we blend we can control how much the sand is going to be in between and on top of the stones based on the depth map all right so let's get started I have prepared a bit in advance, so we have a beach image here, we have some beach pebbles as well, and a depth map for the pebbles. We can start by creating a new 3D scene. We can read on the node to texture splatching. Then right click on the node, click on agile node, then find the mesh instance 3D, and click on create. Then go to mesh here, and click on new play mesh, click on the mesh. We can save the scene, so click on scene. Save scene, click on create folder, call this scenes, and click on OK. Click on create folder, call this texture, latching, and click on OK. Now let's save this file in here. Next, go to material here, click on new shader material, click on the material, click on shader, new shader, and save this in here as texture splatting.gd shader, click on open, click on create. Then click on the shader here. We can make this a bit bigger. So first here at the top, we're going to add our variables. We're going to need the blend amount, which is how much we're going to blend between the two textures. We're going to have the texture above, the texture below, and we need a depth map for the first texture. Then we can delete the vertex function. We're not going to need it. And also the light down here. Then in the fragment function, we are first going to get the depth of the pixel from the depth map. Then we will get the first texture from the second texture. Our next step is to blend the pixel here based on the depth minus the blend amount. And we multiply this with 10 so we easier can see the effect. And we're going to clamp the values between 0 0.0 and 1.0. Next, we're going to calculate the blend of color between texture 1 and texture 2 using the blend value. And then finally, we're going to set the albedo. Press Ctrl to save. So we now have our shader completed. Next, we need to fill in the textures. We're going to get the beach as the second texture in the middle. We're going to set the beach pebbles as texture 1. And then we're going to add the depth map to the depth map parameter here. Like so. And we can already see we have some effect here. So let's modify the depth here. As you can see, if we zoom in here, when we are blending the sand, we get a really good effect because we are blending with the depth map. It really looks like the sand is laying on top of the stones and in between the stones. All right. Next, we can update the code a bit more. So here at the top, underneath the blend amount, we're going to add in the resolution for texture 1 and texture 2. And what we can do with these guys is to multiply the UV with the texture resolution here. So for the depth map, we're going to use texture resolution 1, the same thing here for texture 1. And for texture 2, we're going to use the texture 2 resolution. We can save the shader. Let's make this bigger. And now if we bring in some more sand, we can now set the resolution for the sand. And if you want this to tile, make sure it's a multiple of two. So one, two, or four. But we can also set the texture resolution here for the stones. Like so. So depending on what kind of patterns you have, you can actually scale them up and scale them down. And you will see the repetitiveness here. But it can be useful for other textures. So this is the code we have now. Now this concludes this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, you will find the code on my GitHub page. The link is down in the description. Now please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.